Meet Bridget Bardo, a classic Hollywood actress whose captivating performances have left an indelible mark on cinema. Lesser known facts about her may pique your interest. Have you ever delved into anecdotes that reveal the intriguing facets of her life? Whether it's her iconic roles or personal endeavors, there's a work of Bardo that resonates with many. What's that one piece of her work that you hold closest to your heart? As we explore Bardo's journey, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and even sad revelations. Before we dive in, we want to hear from you. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this Hollywood icon in the comments below. Keep watching for the fascinating facts and don't forget to share your stories. Bridget Bardo, born on September 28, 1934, in Paris, France, emerged from a rather ordinary background to become a celebrated Hollywood actress. Her parents, Louis Bardo and Anne-Marie Musel, provided a modest upbringing in the French capital. Growing up in the aftermath of World War II, Bardo's formative years were marked by a shifting cultural landscape. During her early life, Bardo exhibited a passion for dance and enrolled in ballet classes at a young age. This interest in the performing arts foreshadowed you know, with the future path she would tread. However, fate took an unexpected turn when she was discovered by a French film director at the tender age of 50. This serendipitous encounter paved the way for Bardo's entry into the world of cinema. Notably, Bardo's career trajectory was significantly influenced by her collaborations with key figures in the film industry. Directors like Roger Vadim played a pivotal role not only in shaping her on-screen persona, but also in catalyzing her rise to stardom. The 1956 film and God Created Woman marked a turning point, propelling Bardo to international acclaim. Beyond her cinematic pursuits, Bardo's personal life garnered attention. Her marriages to Vadim and subsequent unions unfolded against the backdrop of societal shifts in the 1950s and 1960s. Bardo's image, characterized by a blend of sensuality and innocence, resonated with audiences worldwide, solidifying her status as a cultural icon. As we delve into Bardo's early life and background, it becomes evident that her journey was shaped by a confluence of talent, timing, and unforeseen opportunities. The young girl from Paris, with a penchant for dance, evolved into an actress who left an enduring imprint on the silver screen. Bridget Bardo's journey into the limelight unfolded from the unassuming streets of Paris. Her parents, Louis Bardo and Anne-Marie Musel, provided a modest upbringing that belied the extraordinary path she would eventually carve. Growing up in post-World War II Paris, her formative years witnessed a cultural shift setting the stage for her eventual emergence as a Hollywood icon. Intriguingly, her early passion for dance acted as a precursor to her cinematic destiny. Enrolling in ballet classes at a young age, little did she know that this artistic inclination would lead to a fateful encounter with a French film director at the tender age of 15. This serendipitous meeting became the catalyst for her unexpected entry into the world of cinema. Collaborations with influential directors, notably Roger Vadim, played a pivotal role in shaping her on-screen persona and catapulting her to international acclaim. The 1956 film and God Created Woman marked a pivotal moment, propelling her into the global spotlight. However, her journey wasn't confined to the silver screen. Her personal life, marked by marriages to Vadim and subsequent unions, unfolded against the backdrop of societal transformations in the 1950s and 1960s. Her image, a blend of sensuality and innocence, resonated with audiences globally, solidifying her status as a cultural icon. Yet, behind the glamour and fame, she faced her share of hardships and struggles. The societal shifts mirrored in her personal life reflected the complexities of an era undergoing rapid change. The young girl from Paris, once immersed in the world of dance, evolved into an actress whose life encapsulated the confluence of talent, timing, and unforeseen opportunities. Her story, both on and off the screen, is a testament to the unpredictable nature of fate and the resilience needed to navigate the tumultuous waters of Hollywood. Her legacy extends beyond the silver screen, leaving an enduring imprint on the cultural landscape. Amidst the Hollywood landscape, Bridget Bardo's journey took an unexpected turn in 1967 when she crossed paths with Serge Gainsbourg. Their collaboration on the song Je t'aime moi non plus became notable, yet she, for reasons undisclosed, urged him not to release their recording. Consequently, Jane Birkin replaced her vocals a year later, altering the course of the song's history. In 1961, on the set of Please, Not Now, 
Directed by her ex-husband Roger Vadim, Bardo found herself in an intriguing encounter with Vadim's new flame, Catherine de Nerf. Reflecting on her, Bardo noted a resemblance that bordered on discomfort, stating, Behind Vadim lingered a 17-year-old brunette who dressed like me and had her hair made like me. A night of unexpected circumstances during filming, with the crew stranded on high mountains, brought Bardo, Vadim, Myrel Dark, and de Nerf together in a shared room. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, she assumed the symbolic role of Marion de France from 1969 to 1978, representing the epitome of beauty, liberty, and the Republic. During this period, she became the face that embodied the essence of a decade. From serendipitous encounters with influential figures like Serge Gainsbourg to unexpected shared spaces with Catherine Deneuve, her life journey weaves a tapestry of unique experiences. As Marion de France, she symbolized more than just an actress becoming an emblem of beauty and freedom. Amidst the twists of fate that characterized her life, a poignant chapter unfolded when she faced a personal battle against breast cancer. Upon discovering her diagnosis, she initially embraced the fatalistic notion that this affliction was her destined path. It took the intervention of her fellow actress and confidante, Marina Vlady, to steer her towards the path of medical intervention. Vlady's persuasive efforts as she journeyed to Bardo's residence in St. Tropez played a crucial role in convincing her to undergo treatment. In the realm of music, her 1967 single Bonnie and Clyde with Serge Gainsbourg experienced an unexpected resurgence. The song found a renewed audience when featured in films like Rush Hour 3 and Mad Men. The timeless quality of her collaboration with Gainsbourg echoed across decades, transcending the temporal confines of its initial release. Bonded by more than just fame, she shared a deep friendship with fellow actress Claudia Cardinale. Their camaraderie extended to the silver screen when they appeared together in The Legend of Frenchie King. The on-screen partnership of these two iconic figures added another layer to her diverse career. Her narrative is one of unforeseen encounters and collaborations as seen in her musical alliances and on-screen pairings. Her life, shaped by the ebb and flow of personal and professional connections, is a testament to the unpredictable nature of fate in the world she navigated. Despite the challenges she faced, the resilience and fortitude displayed in moments like her battle against cancer stand as a testament to her strength. Amidst the various chapters of Bridget Bardo's life, a noteworthy episode unfolded involving her son, Nicholas Jack Cherrier. Born on January 11, 1960, their relationship took an unconventional turn. Raised primarily by his father's family, Nicholas only reconnected with Bardo in adulthood. However, their reunion was marred by legal proceedings. In 1997, he sued over descriptions in her memoirs, deeming them invasive and hurtful. The French court ruled in his favor, ordering Bardo to pay 17,000 euros in damages for violating their privacy. In a stark departure from cinematic legacy, legal repercussions for words came again in 2019. This time, a fine was imposed due to an op-ed where Bardo referred to the inhabitants of the French island of Reunion as aboriginals who have kept the genes of savages. The incident shed light on her controversial expressions, underscoring the complexities of her public image. Despite cinematic success, Bardo's relationship with honors was unconventional. Awarded the French Legion of Honor in 1985, she declined the prestigious recognition. This decision showcased resistance to conforming to societal expectations, emphasizing an independent spirit. Life unfolds as a tapestry of unexpected turns, legal battles, and unapologetic expressions, shaping a narrative that transcends the conventional expectations of a Hollywood icon.